Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life. And today I am sharing with you guys a soup video. I'm going to be making two different types of soup here today. And today's video is a collaboration with Leanne. Well, Leanne from Mennonite Farmhouse, she is hosting this collaboration the whole entire month of September. Uh, and it's a collaboration with all kinds of other channels. Let me just list you a few of the channels here. These are the ones that already have their soup recipe up on YouTube. Mennonite Farmhouse, Apron Strings, Life in the Piedmont, Piedmont Homestead, Pike Creek Farm, Amy Harris, Mama Bairds, Mama Bairds, Lazy Days Ahead, and then here I am on September 8th. And there are all kinds of channels coming up the rest of September. So let me just tell you a little bit about what a collaboration is. So this is where we all come together. Everybody shares a soup recipe. It could be crock pot, stove top, instant pot. Some people may be canning their soup or freezing it for later. You just really never know what you're gonna get. But if you love soup, you're gonna wanna check out the playlist. And I will put all of the important links for you in the description box below. I have somebody in the background <laughs> drinking chocolate milk and blowing bubbles in their milk. <laughs> okay. We heard that, Maria. <laughs> so anyway, so I think I was saying that I will have all of the important links in the description box for you guys. So if you want to head over to Leanne's channel, Mennonite Farmhouse, and for the playlist, uh, everybody will be adding their videos to that. Now, on top of us sharing videos, there is going to be a live stream on Leanne's channel, Mennonite Farmhouse, on October 3rd. And the giveaway is going to begin um, in the late afternoon evening, so that would be 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Central, and so on and so forth. The grand prize is going to be a $100 gift card, and you can choose either Amazon or a Visa gift card for that. You win by commenting. So the more you comment on all of the different channels' uh, soup videos, the more chances you have to get in on that giveaway. Also, at the live, if you're present, there are going to be what we call hashtag giveaways. So she might say something, I mean, I just saw my colander, okay. So she might say uh, comment hashtag colander and then what'll happen is you may win a prize. So there's going to be prizes from the different channels. So for example, I will uh, donate a couple of my cookbooks to that. There's going to be some Mexican vanilla. Check the description box for all of the videos, all of the information, all the channels, just all the things, okay? And remember, you're gonna want to leave a comment. Now, one thing that I think all of us creators really enjoy is when you leave a comment letting us know where you came from. So like who did you hear about um, this September from and like let us know where where you're coming from because that is always exciting. I am going to work out of um, my cookbook volume two. So I have a couple of cookbooks and this is from cookbook number two cheesy ham and rice soup and then I'm also going to do let me oh where is the other one Okay, and the other one I'm going to do is a spicy crock pot chicken noodle soup. It's not super spicy. It's just a really, really nice soup. Like, let's say you kind of have a cold running through the house or something like that, and you need something with just a little bit of zip to kind of open the uh, open up your nose a little. It, it's helpful for that. So those are the two recipes, one stove top, one crock pot. I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you the basic ingredients that go into the cheesy ham and rice. <laughs> Warren is my audience and he's over there just like watching and listening, which sometimes is kind of funny. Okay, I already got my rice rinsed and I'm using Lundberg Wild Blend. So I used to be able to get something called, I think it was like Minnesota Wild Rice or something at Walmart. And they, back in 2020, stopped carrying it and I have not seen it there since. So I went to this, which is a wild rice blend, and it actually has brown rice, sweet brown rice, wild rice, red rice, and black rice. So there's all different types of rice in here, and this is what I'm going to use. I rinsed the entire bag. It was two and two-thirds cup of uh, uncooked rice, and I'm hoping that's going to yield enough because my recipe requires two and two-thirds cup of cooked brown rice and three, no, four cups of cooked wild rice. You can follow exactly, or you can do as I do, and I grab whatever rice I tend to have in the pantry. 
it does work best if you have some kind of wild rice, just because I think it looks pretty and it gives it that really nice, rich, nutty flavor. All right, so here are some of the other ingredients that I'm going to be using, and as well as like flour and water, um, salt and pepper, that kind of thing. So I added all of the water to that, and I have it on high. I'm just gonna let this come to a boil, and then I'm gonna simmer it, uh, cover on for 45 minutes, then turn the heat off and let it go for another 10 minutes. Yeah, I feel like that one that I have. You can shred the carrots for this recipe, and that is how I have it written in the cookbook. A lot of times, though, I will just run the stuff through my food processor or just quick chop it up like this. Basically, you just want little pieces. I find, too, the smaller the pieces, the more appetizing this is to children who think they don't like vegetables. <laughs> Today, all my scraps are going to the chickens. Well, Josephine is nice. Never um, skirt this looks better. Okay, the first major step here, other than getting the rice going, is to put one fourth cup butter into some sort of skillet. And I have my celery and my onion, and I'm a little bit of carrot because I chopped it all together on the same cutting board. And I'm just going to let this kind of saute for a few minutes. And then after a few minutes of this sauteing, I'll add the carrots and saute for about another two minutes. So in another kettle here, <laughs> I have a third cup of flour with some pepper. I just kept grinding until I thought it was a half a teaspoon and then probably a quarter teaspoon salt. I can always adjust the salt later on. I don't want to go too heavy right now. And then I'm going to do two cups of half and half. I'm going to get this turned on to almost high. Whisk this and I basically just want to whisk this until it's smooth and cook it until it's thick. This looks great. I'm going to get this turned off for right now. Good morning, Joe. Morning. Uh, where'd you get that Vortex shirt? Is that Dad's? Mine. I think that got put into your laundry by mistake. All right, this is nice and thick. Look at how thick that is. I'm going to add in the cheese, cover it, and just let it sit until it's all melted. Over into this, into the Dutch oven, I'm putting three tablespoons of chicken bouillon granules. This is a great recipe to use leftover ham. We never have leftover ham, so when I want to make this uh, recipe, I just buy the already uh, chopped up ham. I'm going to add all of that. I'm going to add in eight cups of water. We have 16 minutes left on the rice. I am going to check this and see how this is doing. I think what I'll do, kind of chop it up a little bit now more surface area so it will melt faster. All I have to wait for, for the rice to be done and for this to melt and I'll pour all of it into here, stir it around and just kind of let it simmer a little bit more. Really it just depends on how um, how soft you want all of the vegetables, which we like them, you know, pretty soft. And so I'm going to just let it simmer a little bit. Actually, I'm going to turn it on right now and let it simmer as I'm waiting for the rice to get done. That's actually a great idea. Okay, we're going to get ready for the spicy crackpot chicken soup by making a rub for the chicken. Now, when I went to thaw my chicken, I actually thought I had bone-in chicken breast, but it's not. It's just boneless, skinless, so it would be better if you have the bone-in chicken breasts, just because when you cook it down, you get all of the juices uh, cooked out of the bone and you get like just that nice flavor from the skin and everything like that, but it is what it is. So let's mix up kosher salt, some paprika, some crushed red pepper. I'm gonna go easy on the thyme. That's not our favorite flavor. Garlic powder, plenty of that, pepper, and where's the rosemary? And some rosemary here. Again, I'm not going to go super heavy on the rosemary. Pick that up. You only 
really need two chicken breasts. That would be like the bone-in, skin-on kind. I have this whole pack thawed, so I'm gonna put all of it in here, rub the seasoning around it, and then I don't, I'm not necessarily gonna keep all of this chicken in the, uh, for the soup, but I'll at least have it cooked if I wanna, um, like just use it cold on a salad or something like that. All right, and here is my spice mix. I'm gonna put that on the top side, push it into each one of the chicken breasts, flip them over, and do the same thing, sprinkle it on press it in. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. This is probably probably a third of a cup, just a little bit. I'm going to put this on high. I'm going to come back and check these. Honestly, I'm going to check every hour. They're, they're going to cook pretty quick in here. Best would be if I had a five quart crock pot. Uh, I have a four right now in this one, which I think is a seven if I'm not mistaken. My five or six, whatever it was, it broke, <laughs> and so I and I just haven't replaced that one yet. Uh, I've been getting by fine with a four, and then this this uh, bigger one. But if I had a five, that honestly is what I would use. So I think this is going to cook up pretty quick. Let me get this on, plugged in, turned on to high, two hours, and we'll just watch it carefully. I'm going to just let it sit there with the cover on. That also, if it kind of stuck to the bottom, leaving it for a little bit also will help kind of steam that off. And then I'm going to give this a good stir. This, honestly, right here, if you wanted to make this same thing and uh, put this over noodles, you would have, like, homemade, creamy, creamy homemade macaroni and cheese. Yes. Because there's four of them. Yes, I do. That's what I was thinking. I <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. That's going to be way too hot to grab a hold of. Can I grab it? That's hot. Uh, good day. Good morning. Right, Maria's going to mix it up for me here because she said she wanted to mix in the bird seed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> looks like bird seed. You think the rice looks like bird seed? Yeah. A little bit. And that is it. All my burners are turned off. This soup would be ready to go. But honestly, I really like soup best when it sits for a day and then you reheat it. The flavors just all go through. It's so delicious. But... It doesn't matter. This is what we're going to be having for lunch here today just because it is a cold day. You guys, it is only like ham in 52 here? or 54 degrees. Is there ham in here? There is ham, yes. Ham and rice and... Carrots and celery? Carrots, celery, and onions. Onions? Mm-hmm. Nice. All chopped up really tiny so you, so really you can is. put a smile on your face, right? <laughs> so when are you going to make creamy potato soup? Creamy potato soup, that'll be coming. Like tomorrow? Uh, like, no, like in a week, probably. It's supposed to get hot again, though. All right, I am back. It's been two hours on high. In the meantime, my duck hunters came in and had soup, and I had soup, even though it was only like 10.30 in the morning. Warren had soup, we all had soup, and it is delicious soup. I couldn't talk Joe to come in for a bowl of soup, but he will. And he is my one of my biggest soup fans in the house, next to Warren. And uh, he will have some soup too. So this is absolutely delicious. I will tell you, okay, remember when I was making like kind of the thickened part with the flour and the half and half, and I added pepper, I added a little sprinkling of salt. I probably didn't need to add salt at that point because with the ham, the Velveeta, and the chicken bouillon granules, it was salty enough. Um, I didn't add a lot of salt, so just, just kind of remember that at that point, you probably don't have to add salt, and then you can always add some when you're ready to serve it. All right, we also served it with some crackers. I should have I should have gotten off the camera when they were in, but I didn't. We were talking duck hunting and stories and all of that, and it's just kind of fun to be present in the moment. I just checked the temp. It was measuring 180 degrees. I'm gonna get that chicken out onto a cookie sheet here. We're gonna start shredding that and all of the liquid that is left is gonna stay right in the crock pot. I also chopped up some celery and carrots. Now you can use any vegetables that you like if you wanna add potatoes or green beans or peas and really turn this into more of like a chicken and mixed vegetable um, soup, you can do that. You can use frozen mixed vegetables, just throw in like a 12 ounce bag or something really anything. 
any vegetables that you like in your soup or any vegetables that you have on hand that you need to get used up. That works too. I pulled out the chicken here. It's gonna rest for a little bit and here are my vegetables. I actually think that I am going to chop a whole large yep. onion. Got a little zing? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it's really good. You like it like that? You can have another yes. piece. Yes, <laughs> another piece. I'll grab that one. In bigger slices. Uh huh. And just have it for like supper. this, like just have for supper. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Well, yeah. Maria says she wants this chicken just like this with these spices for supper sometime. We could have it with some Caesar salad. Caesar salad and baked potato. Um. That would make a really, really good. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I'd make a good supper. And make breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah. Yes. Lunch. No. Breakfast. So, you say breakfast. And Joe's in here now. Breakfast. So a little bit about me and my channel. I started this channel in 2017 thinking that I was going to be sharing um, more along the line of homeschooling. And one thing I found was that... I am. Okay, just a second, Joe. One thing I found is that having, at that point, we had nine people at home, and I made a lot of food. And that became a big part of my videos, and people really were enjoying that part and always asking for recipes and things like that. And that's how, um, that's how my channel kind of morphed into, I guess, what it is today, which is I share a lot of... Uh, just daily mom life, country living, mm -hmm. food, homeschooling, homeschooling, um, special needs. Our son who's in here right now, who you maybe can hear in the background here, he's 16, he has Down syndrome. We homeschool him as well. As my shirt says, Wisconsin Cranberries, we are cranberry farmers as well. So you'll see that type of thing here on my channel. If that's the kind of thing that you want to see more of, this is a great time to subscribe because we're coming into cranberry harvest and so I share all that kind of thing and that's always just a super fun time of year, at least fun for us. Very stressful for Warren, <laughs> but fun I think for the rest of us. I think this is it. Remember I said I wasn't going to use all the chicken, but now I'm thinking maybe. Maybe we'll just throw all the chicken in and make a nice big pot. Well, I'm going to save some of this out for Maria because there was her little fingers again popping in for some more chicken. So I'm going to save some of this out for her. The rest I'm going to put into the rest I'm going to get into the pot and we're just going to let that cook with the water and um, with the chicken stock. And I mean, that's that's really it. Now you can use, I'm actually going to go downstairs and get one jar of my homemade chicken stock and I'll, that'll be for four mm. cups. And then the other four cups of water that I need is just going right. to be water with a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon granules. You want it just like, just hot right now to eat right now? Is that what you're kind of wanting? Sure. Okay. I'll do. How much do you want? It doesn't. Okay. It's always real life around here. The music is blaring in there. Joe is still off of his high from the Luke Bryan concert and the music is blaring. So anyway, I am in the garage to let you know that I did not use a full tablespoon of chicken bouillon granules like I said I was going to because when I dipped my finger into the soup and I licked it, it was so flavorful. So I only used about a teaspoon of the chicken bouillon granules. Okay, I turned that, I turned my crock pot to high for three hours. And Maria is still telling me how I have to make chicken in the crock pot like that from now on. You know how it's hard sometimes to get chicken breast to still be juicy and everything? Two hours on high for four chicken breasts in the crock pot was perfect, you guys. It registered 180, so it was done, but it was juicy. And I can just see us doing all kinds of different seasonings on the chicken um, coming up here in the future. That really worked out well. Okay. I gave Joe and Maria each a dish of chicken because they wanted that. Oh, she's still eating her chicken. <laughs> oh, am I from Wisconsin? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, she's still eating the chicken, but we're going to get back in. I have to help her with some... What did you come out here for? Ask me about the play. I didn't find anything in the dresser bin. Nothing in the dresser bin. So she is actually um, working at getting a play ready with a bunch of her friends. And so lots and lots of pre lots and lots of preparations, huh?
spicy crack cut chicken noodle soup is all done. I am warming up the cheesy ham and rice again. And now we have, I also made some bread. So with the whole wheat flour, it doesn't rise quite as high as it did last time, but I, I have the whole wheat flour now, so I wanted to use it because I just think it tastes very good. It's kind of like a nutty, I don't know, it's just, it's just different. Whole wheat bread just has like that, just has a different flavor and it's delicious. Okay, remember that this is the collaboration soup timber um, and you are gonna wanna check the description box because that's where all the links are gonna be so you can go and check out all the other soup recipes. I know I said this at the beginning, I'm gonna say it at the end here for you all. Uh, Remember to leave comments on every single one of the soup videos that you watch because that's how you enter to win the $100 Amazon or Visa gift card after we serve up our soup. Um, okay. I'm going to see if we can actually kind of all give it a little bit of a review for you. Mm -hmm. Looks nice, Maria. What are you going for, Peter or Joe? Do you want the chicken noodle over here? It's kind of spicy. Do you want the chicken noodle? No. I'm going chicken noodle. All right, Peter, give us give us the, your best word. I love it. I even like the carrots with it. That's that's saying something. That is saying something. Maria? It's great. You got anything for us? Mm. <laughs> what, how, how, what's the best way to eat it? With bread? Yeah. You're a, you're a bread dipper, aren't you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Try your baby bread. Take a spoon. <laughs> Put it on. Mm-hmm. Just like that. We can go through just about a whole loaf of bread, huh? What about you, Joe? Well, what do you think? Uh, I, I, I'm going to go to Yes, that, that's Maria's oh, hair band. Me piece? Okay, Warren and I went with the chicken noodle. Yes. So we're going to give that a try. For real, just for a second. Is it going to be audio? I haven't done my hair. <laughs> you haven't done your hair. <laughs> Is it going to be audio? Mom will probably put some music or something over it. Mm -hmm. Or she'll just delete it like she did. <laughs> Can I talk to the video? Yeah, you know how the noodles, they're like just not, they're the inmade brand, but they're not just exactly how I wanted them to be. You know what I mean? Oh, well, that's got some spice. What do you think of the spice? Uh, it's a little piece of spice chicken. Spice is good. I actually really like the noodle consistency. Really? You like them like that? Yes. Try a little piece of chicken. Like if you put chicken like Yeah, you want some piece? chicken? Mm-hmm. There um, you go. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that didn't work so well, did it? Um. All right. With that, we're going to sign out. Okay. That's it. <laughs> What's up? Just, I'm not used to eating see. my meals with a camera on me. You don't like that no, so much? No, I don't like that at all. <laughs> All right, we're going to say goodbye. Remember, check the description box for the links for the playlist and everything for all of the all of the other September recipes. And, oh, one more thing. If you made it all the way to the end and you'd like to purchase the cookbooks and you use the code SOUPTEMBER, S-O-U-P-T-E-M-B-E-R, SOUPTEMBER, I will, um, that will get you 20% off of my cookbooks. So... That link will be in the description box also. Thanks, guys. Bye. Do it!